19th. As you know, we are still in unit number 7, which is my body. Today's lesson is about body parts. Okay, as you know, the last session before the holidays, we have dealt with the parts of the face, but it was briefly. Okay, let's revise the parts of the face for a few minutes no more. Okay, please follow with me. Look at this picture. Okay, this is the head. Okay, we call this the head. These are, uh, sorry, this is hair. Okay, these are called eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, ears. Okay? Now please, look at me carefully and you listen, then you repeat what I'm saying and what I'm doing, okay? So, you say, this is my heart, my eyes, my nose, my mouth, my teeth, my with 
okay? So, but says, touch your mouth. Your mouth, touch your mouth. First part. Second part, but says, don't touch your nose. Your nose, don't touch your nose. Number three, but says, touch your ears. Touch your ears. Number four, but says, don't touch your eyes. Your eyes, don't touch your eyes. Okay? So here, we have four pictures. Picture number A, picture number B, picture, uh, sorry, picture A, picture B, picture C, and picture D. Here we have a boy who is touching his eye and a man who's doing like that. Okay? He's doing like that. Maybe he is his father. Picture B. We have a girl who is touching her nose and a woman who's doing like that. Maybe she's her mother. Okay? C. We have two boys who are touching their ears. And D. We have a boy and a girl who are touching her, uh, their, sorry, mouth. Who are touching their mouth. Okay? So, let's try to match between the picture and the parts. They give you the first example. But says, touch your mouth. Your mouth. Touch your mouth. So, the first part is with the picture D, okay? Because the boy and the girl are touching their mouth, okay? Let's see part two. Bas says, don't touch your nose, your nose, don't touch your nose, okay? So, let's see which picture is uh, appropriate for the second part. A, who is touching the eyes? No. B, the girl is touching her nose and the woman or the mother is saying don't touch. So, the second part is with picture B. Don't touch your nose. Your nose. Don't touch your nose. Okay? The third part. But says, touch your ears. Touch your ears. Touch your ears. So, let's see picture C. The boys are touching their ears. So, normally, part 3 is with picture C. Okay? Then we have the last part and the last picture. Bus says, don't touch your eyes. Your eyes. Don't touch your eyes. So, normally, the last part goes Okay, so I hope it's clear for the moment. Okay, now I ask you to turn the page. Okay, page 66, and we have some who have uh, 64. Or before page 66, let me show you the difference between touch and go touch. Here when I ask you to touch, okay? To touch. So you touch, for example, your nose, your eyes, your mouth, your ears, okay? I ask you to touch something. When I ask you or say don't touch, don't touch, which means no, okay? Which means you don't touch. Okay? This is the difference between touch and don't touch. Touch means you are allowed to touch and don't touch means no. Don't touch anything. Okay? So, as I said, when you turn the page 66 and we have some books uh, which have 64. Okay? Body parts, uh, you can revise from them, okay? Here we have a diagram. 
what he is saying in the dialogue. Okay? Let me read the dialogue for you. Picture number one. Look at my game. Let's play. So, John said, Look at my game. Let's play. Lisa said, Okay. So, in this dialogue, John and Lisa are playing a game. Let's see which game they are playing. Okay. John, picture number two. Okay. John said, He has got a small head now. He has got a small head. Now, okay. He has got small eyes too. Eyes. He has got small eyes too. Okay. Number three. Big hat and long legs. Okay, long legs as you see. Picture number four. John said, Now Lisa has got a big mouth. Now Lisa has got a big mouth. Lisa got angry. She said, Oh, John, because John made her picture with a big mouth. So, from this dialogue, we can understand that John and Lisa were playing a game. And this game was about, uh, was about changing the parts of the body as they want. Small head, big head, small eyes, long legs, Big mouth and uh, regarding small and big, I think that you remember that we have dealt with these adjectives small, big, short, long. Okay, if you don't remember, let me remind you of them. When we say something is big, which means big, okay, something big. When we say small, which means something small, okay. When we say long, which means long, okay. And short is just short, okay? So we have that uh, with this adjectives before, okay? Um, so I ask you again to read or to listen to this dialogue of Lisa and John and you repeat after them. Because uh, this dialogue is done to help you to understand more and to reach your vocabulary, okay? Uh, now I will ask you to go to your workbook. Actually, here I don't have a workbook, okay? But you have yours at home. Please do the activities that are related to the topic, okay? When you see uh, an activity that is related to the part of the face or the body parts, you do it, okay? They are easy. Uh, and I advise you, I really advise you to use the CD because it's very useful and very helpful. Uh, so, this is our lesson for today. It was about vocabulary, about many parts. I hope it was clear. Thanks for your attention.